What is up guys? Welcome to the Computer Information Highway for your Java programming tutorial number 27. And in this video, we're going to be finishing our last function, uh, call contact. Um, and doing that, we're going to uh, change this function up a little bit. We want it to return the information that we found uh, instead of just sort of nothing happening with it. So we now want to use the information that we have in here in order to find and call the person that we're looking for. Um, so in order to do this, we need to change what we are returning, and that's we do that by changing void. We can change it to string, which would be for just a string, or we could also return the string array. We can return we can return the array that uh, we are manipulating, so it allows us to send uh, larger pieces of information between different functions. Um, and right now how it is whenever it's going through this loop right here it's going to go to the end of the file regardless of if it's finding this person or not and to fix this we can just throw a break in here and what a break is going to do is it's going to prevent this while loop from continuing it's going to uh, if it gets to the situation where it's found what we're looking for it's going to break the loop and it's going to stop there are other continues wow no there are other there are other uh, keywords that we can use, uh, such as continue, which would uh, which would just continue into the next uh, instance of the while loop if if it were, or it would continue it to the next instance of the loop. That would be in the situation that we were using a for loop and we were trying to keep track of uh, like x if we were incrementing x over the loop, and continue would just allow it to skip but we can also break as well, and this will just break out of the entire loop altogether. Um, so now S isn't going to always be the last person that's in our phone book. S is going to be the person that it last found. Um, and then we can return that information down here at the bottom. And uh, what it's telling us with return S, if you read over it, it's saying variable S might not have been initialized. We, we gave this variable string that we have, uh, we, we gave it a name, which was s, but we didn't actually initialize its, uh, like initialize itself. And we're just going to give it a size of zero because it doesn't actually, uh, we, we don't want to fill it with data. And if it makes it all the way to the bottom, which it, which it shouldn't, we're just going to return null. Um, <clears throat> so now this is going to go through and it's going to return s which is going to be the person that we found and it's going to return the uh, array of it which is what we were doing in this while loop right here um, because we split up the string so it's going to split up the string in the component of zero or the component not the component the, the, the string at position zero is going to be the name and the string at position one is going to be the phone number associated with it. So now, going up to the top, we can start using the function that we created before, and we can. Uh, we what we should what we should do is we should probably create a new array and pass in the name using the function that we created. Since we're using an array and we're passing an array as our return type down here. This is going to allow us to use the data that we got from here in this situation. Um, so now we can check if s oops, if s is not equal to null because we don't want it to make it to that point, um, and we're just going to say system out print line calling. So this is just going to call the person that we're looking for. We're not, we're not actually like going to be writing a networking program that's going to communicate with some other uh, person that we're actually going to be calling. So, and then we just want to say what happens if we can't find the person, uh, actually, which is right here. We just need to delete that. There we go. Um, and that should work. So let's test this real quick. 
we're gonna run the file and let's call contact let's call Alex M and it says calling Alex M at one 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 two 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 three four five six um, and let's t test to see what happens if it can't find somebody so Joseph it's returning null uh, so and the issue that we are actually running to I think yeah it's here alright so this is going to go through it, and if it's not finding the person, this isn't setting S to anything. S is still being set as the last person in this, uh, or in, as the last person in the file. So we're just going to set S equals to null, and null just means nothing. Uh, that just means nothing is going to be used for it, and we're not going to have found anybody if that's the case. So we're just going to use that, and let's try this again. It's going to say. We're going to look up Joseph, and it's going to say no person found named Joseph. So, not too much uh, as a part of this video. This is kind of just a wrap-up video. Uh, we did indeed finish our uh, program, so let's actually go through the whole thing real quick. Um, first of all, I'm going to delete this file, and let's run it again. So, we have no people in our in our file. So let's go to save contact because we want to save someone. Let's save Alex M at 1112223456. And it says saving. So I'm hoping that it saved it. We'll find out here in just a second. Uh, let's run this again and let's find somebody. Alright, so apparently it did find me. Good news, good news. Run one more time and we're going to call me. And it did indeed call me. Really cool. So our phone book is working. Um, you could do one other thing if you wanted to. For instance, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you wanted to be allowed to go through this loop over and over again until they were done, um, that wouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, Yeah, okay, so it wouldn't be too hard to do. Um, let's go, let's start it right here. We're just going to do, we're going to do all of this down to here. While true. And then... Alright, so we're just going to ask if they want to do something else. We're going to say yes or no. And we, since I think we already are using our scanner, yes, we already have our scanner set up so we can take input. We can just do if in dot next. No, nope. bear with me for a second. If in dot next dot to lowercase. Yeah, let's just do two lowercase. It doesn't actually matter. Two lowercase uh, dot char at, we're going to say zero because we want to get the very first uh, thing that they type in. Equals yes, or equals y. Then we're going to break, right? So that should break us out of our loop. Uh, let's just test that. Run. Let's see. Save contact. Susan F. Uh, do you want to perform another action? Let's do yes. Oh, build successful. Why is that? Oh, because that says equals yes. Right, it's supposed to be not equals to yes because we want it to be, if they want to perform another action, then they'll break. So let's call Susan F. Calls them. Let's perform another action. Yes. Who are we going to call? Or what are we going to do? Let's find person. Alex M. No, and it breaks just like we wanted it to. Um, 
So that works out like that and we can put this backslash n up here and that will make it a little bit easier when it's printing it out to the screen. So other than that, that is where we are going to be ending this project. This was our phone book project in which I taught you guys some file input output. Uh, we learned a little bit more about functions and the information that we can pass through them uh, and get from them. Uh, we worked with exceptions a little bit. I introduced a try catch block from Java 7, which I mistakenly said Java 8 earlier. My bad. Um, and we worked with another, I guess we've worked with switch statements before, so you should have already known that. But yeah, oh yeah, you also learned about break and continue if you didn't already. So that is where we're going to be ending this video, and I will see you guys in the next project. If you guys haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Peace.